Hey guys, this is Kaizen here, and welcome back to another episode here on the Mine Colonies pack that I'm playing. Uh, now, I've started a build hut here, so we've got a builder's hut, and uh, Maya here is going to be building it at the moment. She's clearing some area for uh, building it, because some of these things are in the way. Um, but uh, she's going to need resources and stuff, and we need to provide that to her. And uh, so, in order to find out what that is, we're going to make one of these things a resource scroll. Uh, so, what I need to do is just head back over to my base. I do have the resources for this. And just down in here, where I've been living in my little uh, hole, <laughs> we're going to get all the stuff we need. So, let me just have a look around. What do I need? So, I need leather, I need sticks, and then that's actually enough. So, if we add that right there. Okay, very good. So, now I think we go over to the builder's hut. I believe it's the hut that we right click. Uh, let's have a look. Actually, if I just right click this, okay, shift right click the colony to register your clipboard to it. Okay, register to colony two. Ah, there we go. Okay, so it looks like this is the list required resources for builder level one that we need to provide. So you can see there, um, course dirt, zero out of three, cobblestone, zero out of 35. So this tells you how much you need of all this stuff. Um, so what you can do then is uh, go, go grab all the stuff that's needed, bring it over to here, go to the inventory and put it in there. And I believe then she'll be able to build it from there. So we're going to go and gather all those resources to start today's episode. And then we'll have our builder site. Now this is important because you need builders obviously to build all the other buildings. So it kind of makes sense, right? <laughs> so yeah, I'll go and grind out all that stuff off camera and then we'll uh, see where we're at from there once we have those resources. So I have now given uh, my builder all of the resources that she needs to build this house. Um, so she's asking for a house to live in. Oh, I should say build a house house so I just keep saying i'll work on that um oh she wants an axe now to continue working actually we better get on with that then um so yeah i gave her all the resources but then she was asking for shovels and uh one thing i found is you can't give her uh stone shovels because uh she's not at that level yet so it has to be a wooden shovel and i'm assuming axes are the same which is why i've made up these wooden axes here uh so if we right click you yep uh i'll work on it um i'll work on that and i'll go to inventory and i'll give you those two and there you go, she's going to continue working on this. Um, so I think it's going to take her quite some time to do, which is fine. Uh, but we might do some exploring while we're away. I'm really hoping to find a village. Uh, I've been growing my crops still here. And I've got these uh, farms over here. Here we go. We've got the chickens all in here. We've got quite a few of those now. Getting tons of eggs out of this thing as well. And uh, then we've got... Um, oh, what is this? Uh, that must be Shadow just struggling with whatever he's doing. Yeah, a big cow farm going on stuff, so that's really good. But if I could find a village just to get a load of wheat at one time, that'd be awesome, because these farms are quite small. Uh, I also just want to do a bit of exploring anyway to see what's in the local area. So uh, we're going to go and do that now, and I'll uh, feature anything of any interest on camera as we go. So I actually managed to get really lucky and uh, bumped into a village pretty uh, close into my exploring. You see my base over there. If I go to my journey map and turn off that one, there we go. Uh, 350 blocks away from my house. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we're going to see what's going on in here. Looks like there's some cats in this village, which is awesome. Uh, they're all running away from me, of course. Ah, uh, no, this is good. We're going to get a load of wheat from these things. So uh, I'll pick up all of these, and uh, that'll be used for breeding my cows and sheep. Uh, we're going to need a lot of wool in this game, so having a sheep farm early on seemed like a good idea. I'm going to steal this bell, because obviously oh, uh, we'll get it while we can. And if we want to do anything with villagers, any villager breeders, or you know maybe get some over to populate our village, as well as obviously the NPC villages we get, then uh, we know where to go. Now, unfortunately, the farm is not very well grown at all, so there's not much going on there. Uh, how about in the houses? There's a chest here. Oh, wow, look at that. Emeralds and bread. Okay, that's pretty good. Won't bother with the leather stuff, I don't think, uh, for now. Uh, you can give, I believe, your guards. You can get guard NPCs. You can give them armor, but uh, even then, I wouldn't want to give them leather. I think I would give them uh, iron, because I found a lot of that already. So, a very small village, but uh, a village nonetheless. It has its uses, and it uh, looks like we've already exhausted everything here of any interest, but... Um all right, we had a slight problem there. The server crashed. We are back online. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I was just saying, I think I've exhausted this village. I don't think there's anything else here of, uh, of any sort of interest. But still good to have one so close by. And we can no doubt do things with this as we advance through the game. Uh, or let's just check this final house here and see if there's anything in here. Hey there, cat. Uh, maybe there's a chest or something. Uh, Bruin stand. I'm actually, I'm going to take that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> For a second, I thought I'd delete it. I was like, what did it go? Okay, uh, and also some more of the hay. That's also really good. Uh, oh, is there more farms? No, just just an empty deck. Okay. Uh, oh, there are more farms down there, and there's a farm, a villager. You know what? I'll come collect this hay off cam in a sec. Let's go see what trades there are from this guy, and uh, also see what's in the house. All right, what are you offering us? Uh, that's pretty good. So we can farm emeralds through this guy. Uh, not too bad at all. And down in here, is there anything? No, nah, just a bed. 
All right, all good. I'm going to keep on my explorations once I go and pick up the rest of that wheat I saw up there, and uh, we'll see what else we can find. So I managed to find a desert village on our travels as well. Uh, you can see there if I can line up with a red one. Uh, it's not going to do it. Um, <laughs> let's, let's get rid of the water temple, put that off. And home is, there we go, 3,000 blocks away. So not exactly close by, but um, yeah, it's uh, still pretty cool to find it. So we're going to have a little look around here, see what we can find. And uh, obviously we've got these dudes here as well. Hello, Mr. Dude. Uh, let's see if anyone's got a trade. You have a trade. What have you got? Uh, not the best. Uh, clay's pretty hard to come by anyway, so I don't like to trade it. Oh, why are these, like, loose? That's weird. I'll pick up this bell while I'm here as well. That's always useful to have. Uh, we can use this for decoration in our village, of course. And let's see what else is going on in here. Anything going on in here? Not much. He's going to get his head stuck in the roof there. Um, we've got already, um, like, uh, carrots and potatoes and stuff, so I'm not going to worry about that. Cactus I will need, so I'm going to pick cactus up while I'm here. And we're going to go explore this desert. It looks like quite a small village as it happens. Um, but again, another village nonetheless. Uh, so we'll explore this desert right now. Hopefully we can find ourselves either another village or some desert temples would be good. Raid those for loot and uh, see what we can get. So this is pretty cool. There's actually naturally occurring palm trees in the game, uh, which is which is awesome. Now, uh, what I want to do is take them home. And I'm hoping if I plant them on sand... Uh, they will still uh, grow. You know, it, it doesn't have to be like in an actual desert, hopefully. Um, because palm trees look pretty cool, particularly around our pirate ship. We have like a pirate sort of port there. So I'm going to try and get some saplings for this. Also, I noticed uh, over here, yep, there we go. There's some cocoa beans on here. So that's awesome as well, because we can now start a cocoa bean farm uh, by growing it on uh, on our palm logs that we've got here. So pretty awesome. And this is a pretty cool little feature as well. It's like a little oasis in the desert, the whole thing. But uh, couldn't leave it as it was, because I do need to try and get these saplings. So let's see how we go here. Uh, now, these here don't seem to be breaking very quickly. Like the other lap, uh, saplings are breaking pretty much instantly. Uh, because we have that, uh, what's that? Uh, we have that uh, plug-in, but these are not. So what I might do, just grab some sand and tower up. You see on me, I've got some pumpkins as well. So it's been quite a fruitful trip. We've got uh, some pumpkins, which we can use in the future. Cocoa beans now. And we've also got uh, a few emeralds and things there, as you can see. A bit of leather, well, one leather, but a bit of beef and stuff. So, yeah, not too bad as far as exploring goes. I've uh, got a few good things here. But I'd really like to get myself one of these if I could. Let's have a look and see if we get any saplings dropping here. Oh, come on. Just give me one. That's all I need. I can start a farm with one. I mean, I'm assuming they do drop saplings, right? And you can grow them. But it doesn't seem to want to give me any. So what is it called? This stuff is... Well, that's jungle logs, the other ones. But this here, palm log. So I wonder, is there a palm sapling? Here we go. That must be it. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so you can't make it, it seems, but I'm assuming you can get them. Uh, I think we've just got unlucky. Uh, assuming I don't have any on me, yeah, that I missed. All right, it doesn't look like it's going to happen. We'll, um, we'll try these last few and just see if we can get lucky. But if not, then I'll, I'll keep looking and hopefully I'll find another one. Yeah, didn't happen. <laughs> oh, well, we got some palm logs to build with, I guess, uh, and some other things, as I mentioned. So I'm going to keep exploring for a little bit longer, uh, but not too much longer. I'm going to be heading back pretty soon. Um, so yeah, we'll see if there's anything else we find before we head back. So I am now uh, back from recording and I've done some work off camera, including a bit of mining and stuff. Uh, so I'm just going to talk you through some of the things that I've done. Uh, basically, we've made a little storage room here and uh, these are called racks. So in fact, if I get the JEI there, if we look at racks, I can show you the recipe for them. Here they are. Not too bad, not too expensive really. Um, and basically they stack like chests. So these, this here is like a double chest, as you can see there. And this one here has items in. And when they have items in, they get this kind of graphic here, which is kind of cool. So trying to in keep with the foresty sort of theme and that, I've, I've done the storage room like this. Moved all of my storage from down here up into here. We've got a little staircase going up here now. And this, of course, is our bed. Uh, so we're all good there. Um, just some temporary furnaces up here. Another little temporary area I've got is uh, an enchantment table over here. Uh, now, the reason for that is because I actually am going to need silk touch pretty quickly. So, uh, I've unfortunately, <laughs> one of my citizens has died. Um, very upsetting, to be honest. She was uh, our best builder by far. And she was building the builder's hut, and I got a message in chat to say she'd been shot with an arrow. So, mobs will attack your villagers, and that's why eventually you want to have guards um, it's also why you want to feed your villagers. Now, why is Michael running away? He's gone up to here. Uh, now, he's got an issue at the moment. Um, so, he wants a house. So, yeah, remind me later about that. This is the issue, the Podzol. Okay, he wants some Podzol. And he uh, not wants Podzol, actually needs Podzol in order to complete the builder hut that he's working on. Uh, so, 
this was all done by Maya. She she got all of this done, and um, now Michael's going to have to take over because she died, and I don't have any more villagers that have turned up yet. So not 100% why that is. I'm going to need to look into that. I'll try and figure that out and let you guys know about that. But what we're going to do is work on getting ourselves a silk touch. I guess shovel would be the best to get loads of podzol. Um, or potentially a um, an axe, a pickaxe would be good. Because then we could use it for the podzol to give to him. But uh, a silk touch pick is generally a good thing. So uh, let's do some enchanting. Uh, we've got all of the... Oops, I just trod on my farm. <laughs> I'll sort that out off cam later. Yeah, I've got some things here to test uh, for enchanting. Uh, I just need to go into here, grab myself a little bit of lapis, of course. There we go. And we can see what we get. Now, we're going to do um, two enchants because we're level 33. So that's not too bad. Um, so let's have a little look here at what we can get. So we'll start with tools. Um, okay, tools are going to be efficiency four if I do them. Uh, not not terrible. Uh, a sword, not back two. I'm not interested in that. Uh, so the only other thing is is, is a book. Uh, oh, fire aspect two. That's actually pretty good. Um yeah, the good thing about that is we've got all of these cows here, and you can see I've got a load of cooked steak on me. I've got a load more in the furnaces as well. We've got all these chickens here, so then we can get loads of cooked food really easily. Uh, so I actually, yeah, I think I think that's going to be what we'll go for for our first enchant. We'll see if the book has anything else. No, okay, that, that's okay, just that. Um, okay, this time we can get smite on there, and on our tools we can get fortune two. Hmm, fortune two is not bad. Um, it's not fortune three, obviously. And the other problem with it is if we do a fortune two, we can't get silk touch, which is what I really want. So if I look at a book here, I'm just going to do this. I'm going to take a lower level book. I'm breaking one. Actually, if I'm going to get a lower level book and I'm breaking is, is probably the one I would want to get. And then what I'm going to do is hope that we've got enough in. No, we're not going to have enough in here. Okay, so we're going to get ourselves up a little bit here. And what else I can do is uh, do a bit of, uh, I've got a load of ores that I can smelt up. And hopefully that will get us over the edge. Uh, you see here, I've got almost a stack of iron and three quarters of a stack of gold. That should be enough to get us over the edge to get us back to level 30. Let me do that off camera really quickly, and then we'll come back and see what our next enchant will be. Okay, got myself back up to level 30 uh, by smelting up some gold and uh, and iron there. So let's have another look and see what we can get this time around. Uh, efficiency 3, my goodness, that's rubbish. Uh, what else could we get? Let's see, fire aspect 1. Oh boy, this isn't looking good. And sharpness. Magic Siphon 5. I have no clue. Uh, this is obviously one to do with a mod. I'm going to get that. Um, oh, is it a chance to absorb beneficial effects from the target. Okay, to be continued. I will, <laughs> I'll look into that and see what that is. Uh, I have no clue. Now, I'm pretty sure that the little bit of gold I've got left is not going to be enough to get us over the edge here to get back to level 30. Um, so we might have to implement plan B. Uh, yeah, not even close, really. Uh, so plan B is I've got myself enough obsidian that we can go to the uh, the nether. Uh, so that's all in here. There we go. And what I need is some flint to light up the portal with. There we go. And uh, the reason being is quartz is not only a beautiful resource to build out of and useful for redstone stuff, but of course uh, it also gets you a lot of levels very quickly. And it's generally uh, my early game strategy if I'm looking to get levels is to use that. Now, I don't know where I want to build this portal. That's the only thing. I, I think this is going to be a temporary portal, so I'll just chuck it down maybe here. Um, we'll probably have a better one set up in the future. Uh, so let's build this up. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One, two. That's right, is it? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, how much Minecraft have I played? Okay, that's embarrassing. Let's. I'm going to just quickly make this up off camera. <laughs> okay, uh, nether portal <laughs> is complete. Let's jump in. Let's see what we get here when we go through. Hoping for a good spawn. Uh, I guess a good spawn would be just anywhere safe. I'm not sure how modded the nether is going to be in this pack. So, uh, let's find out together, and I wonder... Oh, no way! Oh, that is sick! Oh, look at this! It's Oh, we actually are in a fortress that... I don't... I honestly don't think that has ever happened to me in Minecraft before, where my portal has been straight into a fortress like this. This is... Oh, my goodness, that's so cool. Um, Alright, I want to take all of this stuff. Uh, we're going to... Let's do a bit of another exploration then together of this fortress. Uh, not something I was planning on, but something I'm very happy that I am able to do. And uh, obviously we will get out into the uh, the actual nether area and get ourselves uh, the... What was it I came for? Quartz, that was it. Quartz and levels. <laughs> but um, yeah, this is insane. This is so lucky. 
so I was going to say a safe spawn would be good. And if we spawned somewhere near a fortress, that would be nice. Um, as it happened, obviously we spawned in a fortress, which is very nice. Uh, so yeah, I guess I'll just explore this a little bit. And anytime I find a chest or something of interest, uh, we'll have a little look together at what we've got going on. And I suppose on the way, I just as well get myself the quartz that I wanted as well. Get those levels up and uh, get myself a bit of early game quartz as well. Okay, so uh, I'm back home. We have uh, slash home on here, so I can slash home anytime and just get back to my base. So I did that from the nether. Uh, I really need to put a waypoint where my nether portal is. <laughs> you can see I almost died, uh, but I didn't. And I got all this cool stuff. So I got loads of glowstone, the saddle you saw, a bit of nether out and nether wart and stuff. We're going to keep going back there. Uh, for sure. Um, oh. Uh, all of my levels have gone. Uh, okay, that's really bizarre. Let me just eat a second. Um, yeah, why is that? Let me um, let me look into that. Because I was level 31 when I left the nether. I didn't actually die. And as soon as I teleport back, it's cost me all my levels, which is weird. Uh, I'm going to try and figure all that out. But um, yeah, anyway, a great never spawn, so I'm happy with that. And uh, yeah, we'll be able to get lots of levels and stuff that way. Alrighty, guys. Well, luckily, uh, all I had to do was relog uh, to get my levels back. You see, I'm back at level 31, which is nice because <laughs> I was a little bit concerned about that, to say the least. So yeah, the whole point of this was getting levels to try and uh, get myself up to uh, a Silk Touch enchantment. I would have stayed longer, but I nearly died, so I might have to keep going back. Now, efficiency 4 is pretty decent. Might have to take that anyway. Uh, oh, mind you, Depth Strider 3, that's pretty decent as well. Uh, what else could I try my sword? Smite 4. Uh, we'll, we'll take we'll take a Depth Strider, because uh, there's no guarantee of the Silk Touch, which is what I really want. Fortune 3, okay, that's really awesome. I will take that next time on that one. Um, so kind of going to be doing a bit of a back and forth between the nether and my base uh getting lots of levels and then trying to get that silk touch so i can get the pods out and get the builder built uh once that build is built we can build all the other buildings uh in our colony as well so that's going to be useful so yeah i guess um probably just uh you know do most of that stuff off cam and we'll see how we go and then uh hopefully get that silk touch pretty soon well guys it had to happen i died <laughs> so yeah there we go uh, that's what happens you get a grave a grave key and you get all your stuff back uh, now, you will notice my levels have all been kept. That is because I'm op, which obviously I need to change that uh, and get rid of all my levels. So uh, I think there's a command to do this. Let me see. Is there like um, slash XP or something? XP set Kaizen uh, zero. Uh, so why am I still level 28? Hmm, maybe I need to set it to like negative. So we'll go um, set to like minus... I don't know, thousand or something. Can't do that. Hmm. Um, XP. Oh, maybe if we add Kaizen like negative a thousand. Yeah, there we go. I'll do it again. There we go. Back to zero. <laughs> um, fair way to do it. Obviously, uh, I'm not supposed to be op. Um, it's just uh, yeah. I guess uh, Shadow made me op when he made the server. So yeah, disappointing um, that I died. Uh, so let's go to our waypoints. Where's my death point? Let's turn that off. There we go. In fact, let's just remove it because we don't need that. Uh, yeah. Um, however, you know, hopefully we can get loads of quarters and get those levels back. Um, so yeah, I'm going to keep doing that. And it's just going to take me a little bit longer now. But uh, yeah, there we go. These things happen uh, onwards and upwards. <laughs> All right, guys, it happened. <laughs> I'm going to get myself a Silk Touch pick. Um, so yeah, pickaxe I think it's going to be the best. I'm hoping we can get something else with it, but there we go. Beautiful silk touch. Uh, let's do this. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. That is perfect. I'm breaking three and efficiency four. That is very, very good. Okay. Very happy with that. Uh, now apparently you want to one podzol. So here we go. Let's try this out. Let's see if we can give this guy one podzol, uh, and that'll be enough. I don't know if he's going to sort of take that one and be like, thanks. Now I need another one. All right, you want a house? I know you want a house. Uh, I know you want a podzo. That's fine. Let me give you some podzo. Okay, there we go. So now he's going to get back to work. Let's have a little look at him. Go on, Michael. Do what you need to do. Don't just stand around. <laughs> um, hmm. <laughs> so that there message above said that's just a request for his house, I think. But you got the podzo. Can you do some building? It seems to be taking his time. So what I'm hoping is he doesn't need to put pods all on this entire layer because uh, I put it, my silk touch on a shovel. I still think it's good to have silk touch on a shovel, but yeah, if I had to do this whole layer, that would be quite a lot. What are you doing? I don't even want a house. Yeah. You need one 
Podzo to continue working. You have a Podzo. Why did? Okay, let's try this. Let's go grab another Podzo. I think I'm just gonna need to mine out like a stack of this stuff and give it to him. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's your inventory. There's your. Oh, he's placed the Podzo somewhere. Is that what's happened? Uh, I think that's what's happened. So yeah, I think he's gonna need a lot. Although it says one, I think we're gonna need to get like a stack or something. Uh, yeah. So th let me guess, Podzo. Oh no, I need fifty. Oh, I know what's happened. Okay, so the builder um, that I had employed to do this, she died. So I'm now gonna have to go through the resource score and see all the resources that this guy needs and sort of fill him in. So let me go and get all that stuff for him and uh, then we'll see if he cracks on with actually building this thing. Hopefully, uh, I'd really like to get our first building built today. <laughs> All right, guys, I gave him all the resources he needed, and look at this. <laughs> He's actually building away. It looks really cool. So this is our little builder's hut. It's actually starting to get built up, which is very nice. Uh, one thing I was going to do is just come over here and uh, chuck a load of... There we go, a load of pods on his inventory in case he does need any more later on. Uh, but yeah, this is awesome. So we're going to have a little... Uh, oops, let's jump up here. Have a little uh, watch of this for a while, I suppose. And uh, yeah, then we'll see this when it's done. But... Uh, yeah, it's pretty awesome to watch, actually, and uh, it'll be nice to have our first building for sure. Alrighty, guys, you see here in chat, we've got building the builder. Uh, this is the advancement that we need, um, or that we wanted at least, because we have now built our builder. And let's have a look at how it looks when it's all done. Here we go. Hey, there we go. That's pretty cool. So this has been built for us, uh, and obviously we can kind of, you know, I'll put some stairs going down to it and uh, from different directions and maybe give it some flooring out here instead of just dirt and that type of thing. But yeah, it's done. So thank you, Michael. Uh, we have our builder's hut. This is what it looks like inside. Uh, it looks like in the future, when, when it gets upgraded, there'll be a downstairs area as well, which is pretty cool, if you ask me. And uh, yeah, it didn't take too long to do either. I was quite impressed with all of that. So I'm pretty happy. Now, I'm wondering if we can modify this ourselves. I'm guessing we can. Uh, what I'd like to do is in here, uh, somewhere, have a bit of a fireplace. You know, so the actual... Uh, the animations there to put those back in place uh with the smoke coming out of the roof but uh yeah pretty pretty happy with that so i think uh, this episode's probably gone on long enough um and uh, it's probably a good place to finish with the build up being completed so if you're enjoying this series guys be sure to leave a like and please do consider subscribing as well it really is greatly appreciated but for this episode that is about it so as always guys thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time